National Water and Sewage Corporation, on behalf of Uganda government, is implementing a Juman water supply and sanitation project funded by World Bank, mainly to improve water supply and sanitation infrastructure from River Nile in Pakara sub county. Engineer Saron Karunzi, expert from National Water Sewage Corporation, said the project is to improve underwater sanitation of people in a Juman district, both the locals and the refugees. And uh, mainly it's to improve the water supply and sanitation infrastructure for Ajumani district. Uh, so what does this project entail? We are basically going to abstract water from River Nile at a point called Ara, 4,000 cubic meters a day. That's 4 million liters to supply Ajumani Town Council, Pakele Town Council, Zaipi, and uh, Shikoro. Uh, on top of that, we have uh, we are going to do three borehole uh, infrastructures to supply the refugee settlements in Numanzi, Pagenya, and Orua one and two. This uh, combined will bring in another two thousand, that's two million liters per day, mainly targeting the refugee settlements. She says the consultation was also to sensitize the contractors about the advantages of protecting the environment and other social impacts on the environment. Are uh, trained on how to handle the environmental and social issues of the project. These are usually silent issues, but they are key and can determine the success or failure of the project. And in this, we are looking at how do we ensure the environment in the project area maintained or even made better <coughs> how do we ensure the social issues in the project area are well catered for and all these are follow either the national laws that's of the country uganda uh, best practices the policies of the funding body that's uh, the world bank so we integrate all these and then uh, that's the information we have brought to the ground so that the project moves smoothly. Kanzo Kenneth, the sub-county chairperson Pakara sub-county appealed to contractors to recruit local workers, mainly the people around, as part to give back to what they have given the community. As they are continuing with this work, we want them to see and embrace the local people. As the project is affecting them negatively in terms of the project taking away their land. In the other way, we wanted to ask them to return back what the community has given. He also calls on the contractors to follow their agreed terms and conditions for payment of the locals they are working with. There is also issues of payment. We realized, we realized in most cases when a contractor gave power to worker to work with them. Their term of condition is not clear. These people could be stopped at any time and their payments are normally not affected. We want to appeal to CCO, CC company to put all these things right because our law in Uganda is clear. Sebera Milton, the environment officer team of the contractor said, the work under procedures like community engagement meetings with the local leaders and other stakeholders to ensure the community feels not left out as beneficiaries. And now, as the contractor, we are going down to make sure that we work with the sub-county leadership to engage communities. We shall not stop at that. We shall continue up to the grassroots whereby we shall have very many community engagement meetings with the help of the chairperson LC ones. Because these are community leaders, they know what they want and they will, shall, they will be able to guide us on certain issues. For example, like getting the local materials, the chairman LC ones have to be there so that we send form agreements so that the communities feel that they are not cheated and they benefit from this project. The project was funded by World Bank with a turn of 58 billion shillings by the end of next year 2025 
The project is estimated to be curtailed. The project was assigned to CC, a Chinese company. Oraku Benson Pastore, Onzima Alan, Western Night Television Nilecast.